Okay, so I say, this is, how, this is like the exact script. Drinks here are expensive. I live really close by, like five minutes away. Let's go rip a couple shots, and then we'll come like right back. We'll only be gone like 30 minutes. So that's, that's like the script I say. Okay, you're not going far. You're not going for long. You have to come back. It's to do shots because drinks are expensive. A very high amount of the time, you're gonna get one main objection from her, which is, oh, I would, but I can't leave my friends. So like at my boot camp, so I'm like, after you say this script, you like kind of pause and then you're like, okay, say it. And she's like, well, I can't leave my friends. But you know that's coming, okay? So don't let that throw you off your game. It's just a standard bullshit response. Just cause she's like, I don't, you know, I wanna make sure I'm gonna be coming back. Like I, I wanna make sure I'm gonna be comfortable and stuff. So I'll be like, it's cool. I have to come back too. My friend, and this is, this is actually how I say it. I teach this on boot camp and my products. Like my friends have a table here and one of them is visiting from out of town so I have to come back. <laughs> Wait, okay, here's gonna be the perfect night. Okay, I lean in, she starts fucking going after me kissing. Oh, I say this is what this is this was this is what would be the perfect night. So so sometimes I would do this when I'm like starting to set up the poll. When I preface my like poll talk with this is what's gonna happen okay, here's what's gonna happen. It's like setting a frame. Okay, and they're gonna just gonna fall right into it. Watch how I do it. It's really 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 powerful. So I said, this is what's, here's what's gonna happen. And I didn't say it in this case, but a lot of times I'll say, here's what's gonna happen. And everything after that is like the frame. And it's like, okay, you're like, you're gonna be part of that now. Here I said, this is what would be a perfect night, okay? And then I lean in to tell her, and she kisses my cheek, so I start making out with her a little more. Now here's, listen to my language here. <laughs> what I wanna do with you? I know. What I wanna do with you? I mean, I got it. I don't. <laughs> I didn't actually hear what I said. I think I said something sexual. I live like super close to here. Okay, I live super. I'm just repeating in case you guys can't hear the audio. I live super close to here, and that's, that wasn't even true. I lived like 20 minutes by cab. Okay, this is in Manhattan. Um, I was about 20 minutes away by cab. All right, but once you're in the cab, you just banter, and as long as you're not like 35 minutes or more, you're, you're usually totally fine. In the cab, you have to banter and banter and banter. Because what happens is like here's her like state to like the vibe or whatever, and as you like let the conversation die down, um, there's like a threshold where her objections are, the objections you were getting in the club, and like once you like let the conversation call flat, fall flat or it starts getting into awkward territory or whatever, it's gonna go below the threshold, and she's gonna rebring those objections up again, and you're gonna risk like the set blowing out in the cab, so. And what I found is that that starts to happen usually around eight to twelve minutes is when like she starts really pushing the objection stuff, and usually you just address it, cut thread, change topic. So you'll be like, "It's cool, like we'll be there in like five minutes. Like there's been a bunch of traffic. Anyways, tell me more about this." And you can literally just spew words. It doesn't really matter. Like I've had students on boot camps plenty of times like say the dumbest shit. Like they're they're bantering like on the way to the cab. Like in Vegas, there's like cab lines, and they're like in the cab line. And the next day I'm like, what did you say in the fucking cab line? You had to wait like a half hour, right? He's like, yeah, I was talking about sharks and stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't usually talk about like super random shit like that. I'm, I'm mostly just flirting and stuff, but you have to like keep your mouth going. Like imagine, contrast like having fun and laughing in, on the way to the cab and in the cab versus just like sitting next to each other. Like that's not, that's not like what a cool guy would do. It's, it's, it, things just get fucking awkward and, <laughs> and weird and she starts doubting things. Okay, so I say I live close by. And I have tequila, vodka. I said I have tequila, vodka. I'm listing out the kinds of liquor that I have. What's your favorite liquor? What's your favorite kind of liquor? Can we go rip tequila shots? And she says tequila. I say let's go rip tequila shots. And I, I just talked about um, in this video when I taught you guys how to pull in the first half tonight. I talk about how my go-to move for the first half of the night pull is to go rip shots and come right back. Okay, and you're lowering compliance thresholds by saying, I live close, we're only going for a half hour, um, we're gonna come back, all this shit. Okay, I ended up banging this chick all night, she slept over, we didn't come, we didn't come back, and you almost never will. Um, but if you do come back, you have an opportunity to pull again. I'm like, okay, so what, what did I do? I said, here would be a perfect night. I live close by, 
which makes it easier for her. I said, I have these kinds of liquor. What's your favorite kind? She says, tequila. I said, cool, let's go rip tequila shots and we'll come back. Okay, I said, let's do it. You live close by here? Okay, now she's verifying you live close by here. That's always important to them. It makes things a lot easier. Like, oh, we're just going to hop right over and come right back. It's just a really easy thing. How close? Four hours close? Yeah. I say three blocks. Okay, she's looking at her watch. I don't remember exactly what time this was. It was before midnight, though. I'm pretty sure. She might say it. Let me see here. We'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, so I see her looking at the watch, so I address the time objection before it even comes up. We'll be back in 30 minutes, okay? So we're going three blocks away for tequila shots, which are her favorites, and you should have at your bar, in, or just on your counter, um, rum, tequila, whiskey, vodka, gin. Those are like the main ones. And mixers, like fucking soda water, tonic water, cranberry juice, orange juice in your fridge. Because different girls like different drinks. Um, okay, so what have I said? I live three blocks away. I said I live close, and she's like, how close to three blocks? Um, I said, which kind of liquor do you like? She likes tequila, cool, I have it. Um, and now I see her looking at her watch. We're gonna be back in 30 minutes. I gotta come back because my friends are here. I have to come back because my friends are here. What did I just do? I just took her main objection, because what is always, what is always the main objection I talked about in my, my uh, breakdown of what you do to pull in the first half of the night? The main objection is always to be, I can't leave my friends. So I see her look at the watch. She's concerned about being able to get back, and she's also concerned about being able to return to her friends. And I've done this so many fucking times now, guys. Like, I'm, I'm coming up on 800 here, and it's just automatic now. And so you see I'm one step ahead. I tell her, don't worry, we have to come back. What do I say? I said, like, we have to come back because my friends are here, or something like that. So I'm using her objection against her before she even says it preemptively. You live close by here? I'm close. So the poor house is closed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, watch. We'll be back in 30 minutes. We'll be back in 30 minutes, automatic. I gotta come back because my friends are here. Anyways. I gotta come back because my friends are here. I preempted it. <laughs> She's like, she knows it's like gonna go down. I'm just serious. <laughs> I say, I'm serious, let's go. Now I'm leading. Let me finish this. Come on, let's get right here. Now normally, normally you're gonna get objections. I have, in my product, I have the 14 main objections. Um, I can't remember them all right now. Let me just try to rattle them off. I can't leave my friends. I need to stay till the end for some reason, like see the headliner DJ. I have to be up early in the morning, which will get on the weekdays a lot. How do I know you're not a murderer or rapist or like some kind of like extreme thing? It's like a safety objection. Um, how will I get back? How will I get home in the morning? Um, you just want to have sex with me. Um, I can't go unless one of my friends comes. Um, if you're pulling the first half of the night, sometimes you get, well, we just got here. You know, then there's various ways to handle all these. Um, her only objections, which she didn't really even explicitly state too much because I preempted them, were like, you live close, right? And I'm just gonna send a text to this girl almost done so she doesn't leave. You leave close, right? I say yes. And then uh, uh she says no rush. They're so like subservient. She's like sitting in her car, it's an 18-year-old Latina, about to fucking be put on Instagram. I'll probably blur her face it's out of respect. <laughs> um she's just sitting in her car, she's like, no rush, because I'm on a business meeting. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I preempted like, yeah, I live close, and then my star looked at the watch, and she was probably gonna say, oh, well, I, you know, I can't be gone long, I can't leave my friends, and I preempted both of those because I know they come like almost every time. So I said we're only gonna go for thirty minutes. We're back in thirty minutes. I have to come back because my friends are here. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll come back. Now, now we have an, now we have an objection. I have to get my jacket. Now, for those of you that aren't advanced or that haven't pulled very much, them having to return into the club when you're ready. <laughs> There's a hard nipple there. You see him better. I'll, I'll, you're gonna see the video where she's coming up my stairs in my building and, and it's, it's yeah make sure if you guys are still watching this point which you should be make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna show her on rotation and stuff like that with some other clips um, this was like a really good fuck buddy I had threesomes with this chick she was by we got like super close and then I had I had to move and it, was, it sucked but um, okay so for the, what I was gonna say is for those of you that are advanced or have pulled a bunch you know that going to get the jacket is like walking through a minefield I remember even in 2012, I was like teaching a boot camp with Todd, 
we were in after hours in Washington DC and I was making out this chick and we were like by the exit we we're leaving and she's like and she had like five friends in the club like I had to disarm all these fucking cock blocks and shit she's like I have to get my jacket and like the coat check was like in the other corner of the club and I was like uh we'll just get it tomorrow and she's like no 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 I need, I need it it's like my favorite jacket I'm like we'll get it tomorrow I'll, I'll take you personally or I'll, I'll get it for you or whatever she insisted and like I had put in all this work into the set and into the interaction. She insisted. So here we are, like holding hands, walking through the club, and like I'm just waiting. It's, like, it's literally like a minefield. I'm just waiting for like one of the five friends to see us and fucking cockblock the whole thing. And it, it, thankfully, it didn't happen. That that chick though, that was, I didn't get to close. We got back to my hotel, and she like literally went to like wash her hands in the bathroom, and she's like get a condom, all this stuff. And I fucking passed out. And then in the morning when we woke up, she was like late for work, and she had to like run out, and that was like. The Sunday of like the boot camp, and I had to go back to Philadelphia. Like I said, there's like tons of situations where I like should have closed but didn't. So I I, I should be over like a thousand. Like I pass up on opportunities. There's stuff like that that happens where all the work is done and it was and they they want to fuck and it just doesn't go down. I fell asleep. All kinds of shit like that, or they have principles or whatever, and they won't fuck on the first time, and that was your only shot. So enough about that. So I'm like fuck because it. She needs the jacket now. Listen here. You don't, you don't. No, I have to get my jacket back. I go, you can just wear mine, we'll get yours later. She goes, no, I have to get the jacket. Well, we're coming back 100%. We're coming back 100%, you can get the jacket done. Again, I'm just giving her different alternatives to us having to go in and get the jacket, because I know her friends could cock block. Okay, where is it? <laughs> She's insisting. So I'm like, where is it? Hold on. Where's your jacket? I'll get it. So you just... Chris Parker coming to the rescue. Where's your jacket? I'll get it. Plug your cigarette. Yeah, yeah. Well, this you don't know my friend. I'm like... We'll just sit, smoke the cigarette, because what's, cause what's going to happen? If we run into the friends, I'm going to have to deal with that whole mess. Oh, you're going to this random stranger's house? No, why don't you stay with us? Why don't you guys do a tequila shot at the bar right here, where, where, you know, where we can supervise? All this kind of shit, I mean, it happens all the time. Um, so I don't want to fucking go back in with her, because it presents more problems. And Chris Parker offers to get the jacket after fucking escalating iron shit. And she says, no, you don't know my friend. And he's in there. Text him to bring it out. Or text Chris Parker says, text him to bring the coat out. Text him that I'm coming to get it. Where is it? <laughs> he won't, he won't even if we're back in 30 minutes, you still need the jacket? I'm like, even if we're back in 30 minutes, you still need the jacket? <laughs> Dude, take my, stop being a baby. We're no, I'm serious. Will you wait out here for me? Alright, so now it's presenting a real problem. It works out okay, but it's presenting a real problem. I'm like, just take mine, we'll get yours in 30 minutes. And she's like, no, will you wait out here for me? Now, you never want to, like, send her off on her own because you are, like, the objection handler for her and for her friends. So what's going to happen if I, if I stand out here and wait for her is she rolls up on, on the friends inside and the friends are going to be like, uh, it's like, like when I was doing the door-to-door -door sales, I'm going to make a video about this when I, I talk about other videos, how I was the number one salesman for door to door sales with no prior sales experience, just because it's all the same shit as game, answering objections, building rapport, frame control, persuasion, all the, it's all the same shit. And I was able to be the number one salesman even by taking a three hour break in the middle of the day to go fuck a chick. I'm, I was the number one salesman on, on Memorial Day. And I didn't say in the other video, but there was like 3,000 salesmen working for the company. And I like legit was the number one. I have a screenshot of it. I'll make a video about that. But the analogy there is like when you're trying to sell something to like a, a cold knocked door, like a homeowner, if their spouse is not around, you don't want to like hard pitch the spouse. Like in this situation, let's let's call her friends the spouse. She's sold on buying, aka coming home with me. If I send her off to like give the pitch to the friend, aka the spouse, like the the odds of that working are like extremely low. Like say I pitched a dude, and he's like, or it's usually you pitch the wife because the husband's working. So like say I pitched a, a woman and like she ate it all up and she's like, I want this hundred percent. My husband is like the decision maker with, with buying stuff or, or I need his, his buy-in on this. Um, I'll talk it over with him and we'll get back to you. I talk to all the top sales guys that have been doing it for years. It like almost never closes that way. Because we like we were selling like $5,000 like smart home and, and alarm systems. Like no one's going to, he's not going to be like, oh yeah, sounds good. And like, you know, he's going to have a bunch of objections and the wife's going to be like, uh, I don't know how to answer it. And he's going to be like, no, fuck no, we're not doing this. Right? So... Same analogy here, that's why I'm bringing, bringing this into the picture. Um, this chick is going to go in with her friends, and the friends are like, where are you going? Oh, to some guy's house to drink tequila. 
Uh, no, you're not. You're staying with us. All right. So long story short, you want to go with them if, if you have to go through this minefield shit to get the jacket. Or they might insist on telling their friends they have to go. You don't want to like send them in and hope it works out for the better. Okay, because it's not going to happen. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'll come along with you. Okay. I'll come with you. Here, here. No, stay right here. here. She's like, no, stay here. I know better. It's not going to fucking work. It's like the spouse being like, I'll just explain it to them. No, no, no. I'll come back when you're both here. When's a good time? Okay. No, I want to come with you because I don't want to order one more beer while we're walking. I'm like, I make up some bullshit. I want to order one more beer while, we're, while I'm waiting. Total bullshit. Here. I'm going to walk with you. She says, stay here. I said, I'm going to walk with you. Like, she goes off on her own, but I know better. Like, I have to go on to be able to answer objections or I'm going to lose. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I, I consider briefly like just waiting, but I, I know it from experience it's not going to go down. Or it's a, your odds go way down if you let them go solo. So I tell the camera and follow me. Stay here. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm getting a drink. Okay, I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm getting, I'm getting a drink. Where are you? Where's your Where's your people? Like where's your where's your people? Where's your car? My jacket's over here. I said, let's get it. And in my mind, <laughs> I've been fucked by this so many times. I'm, I like no. Um. Um, shit. Okay. Oh, wait, sure. stay on us, stay on us. Uh, what I was saying is like, I've, been, I've been fucked by this so many times. Like, in my mind, I'm like, fuck. So you, you run like the, a sprint to the finish line, and then like the finish line, someone like fucking decks you in the face or kicks you in the nuts or fucking shoots you in the arm and you fall to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a nice for me. I just told the cameraman this is, a nine, this is like a nine for me. I just want to go out whenever I fucking watch my field to fucking club music. Hey, give me, give me updates. I don't, I don't want to blow myself out by the guys getting protected. Okay. Um. So she's with like a few guy friends, or whatever. And I say to my cameraman, give me updates. Like, I chose not to, like, roll in and, like, I'm, I'm only going to, like, roll in if, if, like, there's objections that need to be answered. But I see she's with, like, multiple guys and stuff. And I said, I don't want the guys getting all protective if I go in. So in this particular situation, since it's guys, I didn't want to, like, have them trying to, like, all of a sudden be, like, protective and shit if I roll in. So I'm, like, only going to address the friends and the group if they become a problem so I'm, I'm just telling my cameraman give me updates i have my back to her and her friends and um he's gonna tell me like oh they're um trying to get her to say it. like he's just trying to judge from like the, the situation the body language if i need to go in and like deal with them yeah, yeah. give me updates on what's happening my cameraman's like she just got her jacket <laughs> She's right behind you. All right, so like a lot of times you're gonna have to fucking deal with those friends, okay? And a lot of times you're gonna get more objections out on the the um, isolation area as well. There's like 14 main ones, and I know exactly what to do in each situation, and I know how to deal with the friends. You know, that, that would have made the breakdown way, way longer if I had to do all that shit. Just keep in mind those those are part of the equation. <laughs> All right, now we're pulling. Keep in mind, you've got people like Frank Hare with his pickup decoded, showing how to like out alpha beta guys and be like the alpha wolf and stuff. And his infield consists of like creepily standing next to a guy and a girl talking to each other, the dude sitting on a, on a girl, and then like tapping her shoulder and she looks at them, looks at him like he's a fucking weirdo. And then he's like explaining that's how you be alpha and like. I think he even says that maybe the chick is is looking for a threesome that night, and maybe him and the dude can partner up. It's like really cringe, really out of control. 
and it's supposed to be this big accomplishment that he like tapped the girl on the shoulder and they both thought he was weird. So I hope <laughs> my infield is a little bit more helpful here. You okay? Yeah, shit a nice ass too. I think he just got a good shot of it. Random blurs here. I'm gonna talk to that. It was my birthday, was my birthday yesterday. yesterday. I feel All right, now I'm just amping. <laughs> this it actually wasn't my birthday the day before. I'm just like kind of amping the vibe. I just said it was my birthday yesterday. I don't even know why I said that, but it, I'm just kind of like amping the fun right now. I think I'm like carrying over. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, these, wait, wait for these girls to get out. Okay, so we're getting a cab. Um, if okay, one little thing to add in here. I shot in two really little quick things. She's still fucking sitting outside. Okay, there wasn't like a bouncer that was trying to cock block, but a lot of times when you're pulling, a bouncer was, is going to tell you like no reentry, no reentry. And if you're doing a first half night pull, part of the thing is where you're promising to bring them back, which you can bring them back. Like if she wanted to come back, we would have came back. It's not like you're lying your ass off. Um, but if there is no reentry at that club, and you've told her the way to deal with it is you tell you tell them in advance. Like they're gonna tell you no reentry when we go to leave, because it's in their best interest that you stay and keep buying drinks, right? So you're, you just tell her preemptively. This is like having intel on what kind of venue you're at. You just say to the to, her, to the chick, you're like, they're gonna tell you you can't come back in, but I know the owner, I know the bouncer, or whatever, and like they'll just cut us to the front of the line and we'll, we'll get back in. And worst case scenario, like, cause usually you're just gonna bang her and you're gonna stay at your house. Worst case scenario. And you should have connections at the club where you can. I usually almost always could skip the line and they would let me straight back in because I made connections. I'll make a video on befriending the bouncers and the club owner and the bartenders and all that stuff because I do that in every city and it, it pays off in dividends. Um, I even brought like the high, highest end club in Philly it's after hours where they're super strict on the door. I brought like 10 dudes through, like, including the whole boot camp with Tyler and Todd and the assistants and shit. There was like 10 of us. And we got cut to the front of the line and like got the cover cut in half or whatever. And my connect was like, dude, you're pushing it now. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. These, they're just visiting from out of town. And it was like all chodes too, including Todd. Or sorry, Tyler. Todd's actually not that much of a chode at times. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, that's how you that's how you deal with it. Oh, the worst case scenario, if you don't have that connect, you'll just have to pay cover again for you and the girl. If that, if, if that's too expensive for you and it, it hurts your morality to lie about that and if you get back to the club and you don't want to pay and you guys are stuck outside and you promise you get back in then don't pull the girl in the first place okay so you're either going to have to know someone to get back in or you're going to have to front the cover again which will be like 10 bucks or something if you don't have a spare 10 dollars stop being a fucking loser um the other thing <clears throat> you might have to deal with um and so that's the the bouncer the bouncer part um Thank you. Let me just play this. Okay, so there's girls getting out of the cab, and then we get in. You're fully Puerto Rican. I fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm just bantering here, <clears throat> bantering here to keep the vibe. I saw that girl. I was my like, friend is my friend is looking at me. Let's go get them. She still had friends looking at me. The the dude. It's probably like friend zoned. I'm like, alright, let's get. <laughs> Are you going? Are you go towards, go towards uh, uh, Midtown. Midtown. Oh. The other thing too, there's something called like a micro objection. So like when you get to the exit, like a lot of times they're like mentally committing to going with you. And it's like a big like compliance. Well, not big, but it's it's like a compliance hump. So they might start giving the same objections they gave you in the club. You just answer them again. And it's going to be like easier to answer them because you've already answered them before. You're just going to read it. Don't worry, we're just going a few blocks away just for 30 minutes. We got to come right back. Don't worry. Oh, but you're just going to try to hook up. Oh, no, it's not, not a sexual request. No sexual expectations. Let's just, you know. Take things as they come. It'll be it'll be fun. Don't worry. That's it. Okay. But I'll tell you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the exact address. address. I said towards, towards Midtown, 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 just so we can start moving. And now we don't have any footage from the cab, but I was making out with her. I started fucking playing her tits, sucking her tits. She was, you know, it was it's pretty on. So we fucked like right away as soon as we got home. You said your friends get upset. And you should be escalating the cab if you didn't already know that. Where do you live? Is that nearby? Do you want to go there? Oh, she says she lives nearby. I'm like, do you want to go there? Because it's like a shorter cab ride. She's like, no. We can't go there? Oh, she doesn't live there. Can we go there? No. Why not? Why can't we go there? 
All right, well, that's pretty much it. So um, I'm going to cut next to the, the part where I have, because the cameraman stayed behind. Sometimes he gets to the cabin, he stayed behind. I'm going to cut to the part where you got back to my apartment building, and you see her coming up the stairs, and you get a much better shot of her hard nipples, and she starts kissing me and shit. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, this is the first full-length video I'm putting out on YouTube, full-length poll from start to finish. Okay, I hope that breakdown was helpful. Ask any more questions you have in the description. And... I will see you guys in the next video. This is like one of my favorite videos that I've put out so far, by the way. I hope you guys really enjoy it. There's a bunch of uh, self-made production and shit throughout. So make sure you watch the rest. The rest, there isn't too much left. Make sure you watch the rest where I, again, cover these these nice coaches saying this bullshit. And I talk, I show this girl in like the fuck buddy situations. Okay. And I wish I could show you guys like her being part of the threesomes and shit, but it's only so much a lot on YouTube. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. Hmm? Let me take a picture of you being all Puerto Rican, ready? <laughs> like, like, turn towards me. I don't want to show my face. Alright, your tits are kind of showing. That's like the best shirt I've ever seen in my life. You look like, I like like little... Which way do you live on? Huh? Which way do you live on? Turn your picture, ready? <laughs> One. Here, wait, let's take a picture of this. But wait, there's more. So it's very rare in the first two hours, as we say, that you're gonna fuck a girl. Like take the girl home to the hotel too early. First half doesn't matter. Yeah. First half doesn't matter. Surprise, motherfucker. Two. Three. Okay. Jake's fucking so Alright, put the water on, I'm gonna take a picture. Okay. You uh you mean a cold cold water or hot water? What are you talking about? What, kind, you of get water what kind of question is that? <laughs> he goes cold water or hot water? <laughs> take a video. No, I'm not taking a video, I'm gonna take okay, a picture. Take a picture, ready? <laughs> slowly, slowly. Slowly bro. Slowly bro. Peter, you're missing this little wet t shirt contest. We need a super soaker or something. Okay. Nice. Got a nip exposed. Damn, I'm like halfway up now. See, okay, it's like automatic boner. Oh contrast, contrast that. Wait, make it like tight. Like pull it. Like show your midsection. Like make this tight and show your midsection. Yeah, bro, that's like a fucking. That looks like a. Yeah. I could eat this look like a hair. That was easy. So do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum